the women in this country are the foundation of its success. Sure, the men started it, but who has done more? The women. And in the last 40 years, there are so many women in the medical field and in every field. In the college I worked at, men are in the minority in the power positions. <laughs> and there's good reason for it. They caught one guy having sex on his desk. The other guy ripped off $300,000 from the college. And I could go on. But the women, they do the job. They do it right. And they uh, don't mess up. Vote Kamala Harris. Vote for Kamala Harris in the 2024. You won't regret it. You will regret it if you vote for Trump. That's right. In every conflict, there has been cats fighting, finding intel. And when we get home, our cat mothers take care of us. I'm speaking on behalf of the 79 million cats in America. And they aren't all Republicans. No. My family's Democrat and we had nine kids. I'm not talking about cats. I'm talking about human babies that took care of us. So you can put your stereotypes to rest, you idiot. Trump, you really lost us big time when you chose that dipshit. I'm talking to you, J.D. Vance. You can shove it down your tuna hole. I win, lose them, and our topic today is the question, was Jesus Christ gay? Look at this picture, the Last Supper, the last night Jesus would experience on earth, and there's not a woman in sight, not even serving the men, the group of men that he hung around with constantly. Let's just suppose for a moment there was an orgy going on with Jesus all the time. When Rome took over the Christian faith and made it legal, they did so to help stop the spread of venereal disease and other STDs that was killing off most of the tax-paying public because of their lifestyle. Free, wheeling, and running easy. But it still brings to the mind, was Jesus gay? It would be going against everything he taught with love if he was against people who just had that. And back in those times, men had sex with all kinds of animals. That's where venereal disease comes from. King Herod had VD so bad his legs were black. His body was riddled with disease because of STDs. He liked young kids. He would go take them from their homes and then when he's got done, or they used up, uh, they threw them off what was known as Herod's Leap. But it's something to consider and something to think about. I'm Win Lusum from the Channel 69 News Desk with those hard to swallow questions. Good day.
If I were to run, I'd run as a Republican. They're the dumbest group of voters in the country. They believe anything on Fox News. I could lie and they'd still eat it up. I bet my numbers would be terrific. If I were to run, I'd run as a Republican. They're the dumbest group of voters in the country. They believe anything on Fox News. I could lie and they'd still eat it up. I bet my numbers would be terrific. If I were to run, I'd run as a Republican. They're the dumbest group of voters in the country. They believe anything on Fox News. I could lie and they'd still eat it up. I bet my numbers would be terrific. If I were to run, I'd run as a Republican. They're the dumbest group of voters in the country. They believe anything on Fox News. I could lie and they'd still eat it up. Warning. Alert. Warning. Alert. Warning. Trump talks to you like he's a big know it all but he really doesn't respect you republicans in an interview on david letterman after he funded bill clinton's second time for president david letterman asked him do you think you'll ever run for president and he said if i do i will run as a republican those people are dumb enough to believe anything you tell them if you tell them enough they believe in all that church junk. They'll believe anything. Figure it out. He's not on your side. And he sent all the troops that were down in Mexico home when he got elected, leaving the border wide open. Whose side is this joker on? And Ted Nugent just eats it all up. He thinks he's the greatest guy. He doesn't know what's going to hit him. Your guns will be taken away. Your ammo. You won't be able to buy this stuff. It sounds like, like my friend told me who works in D.C., it sounds like exactly like Iran during the Ayatollah when the Islamic clerics took over the country. My dad is one of the guys who got the Shah of Iran out of the country safely. His company was their bodyguards and got him out. He wears a Rolex watch on his wrist today. A Rolex oyster that he always brags about the Shah of Iran gives it to me. Come on. Don't be the dumb guys that Trump thinks you are. Be smarter. You will not regret it. And ugh. it's a crazy world where an old rich man who has a messiah complex, you, he wants you to pray to Donald Trump. Ugh. There's a new video circulating on the internet that features Stormy Daniels and Donald Trump <laughs> and what they did in the bedroom. It's very X-rated and we can't show you, but I can tell you that the music that's playing behind this video is raindrops keep falling on my head. <laughs> all the dirt, all the time, Right here on Channel 69, I'm Win Lusa. <laughs> Women are the backbone and foundation of this country. They are the ones who don't wear the job, they do the job. It's time to quit walking over them and let them lead. And Kamala Harris will be a great president, a lot better than any man. You know, men have this, uh, I'll just say this, since Kamala Harris has become the presidential candidate, to much to the chagrin of a lot of Republicans, and especially Donald Trump, Donald Trump fears women. 
He's not, he does, I don't see him being friends with women. He owns them. He pays them off. He pays them to pee on him. But he's not friends with women. I was raised by a single mom. My father was in the Marine Corps, and he was such a deadbeat, he couldn't even pay the $50 a month for our child support. So my mom raised me by herself with hardly any skills, and uh, he did that a couple times. He's a big, you know, wow, big Marine Corps, hard. The reason he joined the Marine Corps is because he faced going to jail for committing crimes. He escaped into the Marine Corps by forging his name and then went to Vietnam for like 12 years. You know, he used to brag about they tried to put me in jail for killing people. Now they give me medals. Wow, that's a hero. His bull clap, man, I don't like it. And men are like that. I had a stepdad for a while. He loved too. Most men will get some lady pregnant. I don't have any brothers or sisters. I'm the only child. But most men get a woman pregnant, find out she's pregnant, and then just go to the state of denial and never talk to them and hope they don't crack them down later. Women are stuck with the burden of raising a child and therefore they have my support 100%. They are like the brick wall behind me. Strong, impenetrable. But men, I've seen so many people just trash women, especially Kamala Harris, when uh, she is running for president. And uh, they're afraid of women. I guarantee it. You know, I had a medical problem a couple of years ago. It was a stroke and uh, went in the hospital and it messed my eyes up. I've seen a number of doctors Men just wear the job. The women do the job. My eye doctor, both of them, Chinese, the first one, and I'm not sure where my doc, my eye doctor as a retina clinic is now, but you know, these people who don't like foreigners, they don't, they're too lazy to work, but they're stealing our jobs. It's just baloney, man. You're, fr you're afraid. You're scared. And well, big bravado, we need a man to do it. No, you don't. Every woman that fixed me was a woman. There was no men. They just come in do that little thing. They, it's a totally different attitude, too. They like, when I say, what's your name? Call me doctor. When the women, when I ask them their name, because we're, on, we're in a relationship with our health care here, I ask for... Hello, citizens of the United States. Donald Trump wants to kill you. Yes, during COVID, when everything closed up in the worst pandemic of our life, I was laid off along with millions of others and didn't have health care. And I was on unemployment. He added just enough unemployment extra to make sure nobody would qualify for Obamacare in the worst pandemic of our life. And during that time, I had one minor stroke that made my left eye go blind. I couldn't go to the ER because I had no health care. Luckily, after Joe Biden won the election fair and square, he restored everyone's workplace health care and the person that told me this was somebody at the Obamacare 
place. He said, you know, you're, you're, did you have health care when uh, you worked? I said, yes. Well, Joe Biden restored that about six months ago, and there's about six months left. I got in on the tail end, and uh, they restored my health care. Then that ran out, and uh, I qualified for Obamacare when I had no money. Luckily, I got onto the Oregon health plan just in time, two months before a massive stroke almost claimed my life. Donald Trump doesn't care about you. He just wanted to make sure Obamacare didn't work. He's a pathetic, bitter, rich old man who has paid people off to get out of trouble. But I think now, Kamala Harris, you have become, you have, Trump met his match with her. And we wish everyone would vote for Kamala Harris for president. I'm a member of the AFT, the American Federation of Teachers. We are the national union for everyone who teaches at a school, college, high school, grade school, whatever. The janitors, everybody that works at a college or school is part of the AFT. That's a large slice of America. Seems like I've said it a million times this week, and I'm going to keep saying it. If you're a woman and you like your life and don't want to be like the women in Iran, vote for Kamala Harris because that's what the Project 2025 is patterned after the Islamic takeover of Iran in the 70s when they ousted the Shah. Women had to wear burqas when they didn't before. Women couldn't go to college or go to... They didn't want them educated at all. They feared women too. Trump and his Republican people fear women. The only use they have for them is to look good. Have you ever seen any normal-looking woman working for Trump ever? They all look like either models or hookers or strippers, or porn stars. They don't have normal people working for them. That's discrimination. I mean, he's the worst person that could ever be in charge of a country. I think Hillary said, I know it's going to go on in 2020. There's going to be a big COVID thing, and uh, you can handle that, Donald. I can almost hear her saying it. None of the other ex-presidents, former presidents, like him. He, I mean, people hate him. He throws everybody under the bus that, or on the train tracks who has helped him. But they go to jail, and he doesn't. What's up with that? He's the wrong guy for the country, the right person for the job is Kamala Harris. She's a prosecutor. She knows the law. She's, we haven't seen how tough she can be on people. I can't wait. <laughs> Women are the backbone and foundation of this country. They are the ones who don't wear the job, they do the job. It's time to quit walking over them and let them lead. And Kamala Harris will be a great president, a lot better than any man. You know, men have this, uh, I'll just say this, since Kamala Harris has become the presidential candidate, 
to much to the chagrin of a lot of Republicans and especially Donald Trump. Donald Trump fears women. He's not, he does, I don't see him being friends with women. He owns them. He pays them off. He pays them to pee on him. But he's not friends with women. I was raised by a single mom. My father was in the Marine Corps, and he was such a deadbeat, he couldn't even pay the $50 a month for our child support. So my mom raised me by herself with hardly any skills, and... Uh, he did that a couple times. He's a big, you know, wow, big Marine Corps, hard. The reason he joined the Marine Corps is because he faced going to jail for committing crimes. He escaped into the Marine Corps by forging his name and then went to Vietnam for like 12 years. You know, he used to brag about they tried to put me in jail for killing people. Now they give me medals. Wow, that's a hero. His bull clap, man, I don't like it. And men are like that. I had a stepdad for a while. He loved too. Most men will get some lady pregnant. I don't have any brothers or sisters. I'm the only child. But most men get a woman pregnant, find out she's pregnant, and then just go to the state of denial and never talk to them and hope they don't crack them down later. Women are stuck with the burden of raising a child and therefore they have my support 100%. They are like the brick wall behind me. Strong, impenetrable. But men, I've seen so many people just trash women, especially Kamala Harris, when uh, she is running for president, and uh, they're afraid of women. I guarantee it. You know, I had a medical problem a couple of years ago, it was a stroke, and uh, went in the hospital, and it messed with my eyes up. I've seen a number of doctors Men just wear the job. The women do the job. My eye doctor, both of them, Chinese, the first one, and I'm not sure where my doc, my eye doctor as a retina clinic is now, but you know, these people who don't like foreigners, they don't, they're too lazy to work, but they're stealing our jobs. It's just baloney, man. You're, fr you're afraid. You're scared. And big bravado, we need a man to do it. No, you don't. Every woman that fixed me was a woman. There was no men. They just come in do that little thing. They, it's a totally different attitude, too. They like, when I say, what's your name? Call me doctor. When the women, when I ask them their name, because we're, on, we're in a relationship with our health care here, I ask for the first name, and they always tell me. So I think it's time for men to find their place and get into it. I've never had good experiences with only a handful of men in my life. The rest are a bunch of dumbass, bravado, scared of women, idiots. Yeah, I'm talking to you, and you, and you, and you. So get with it. Let's get Kamala Harris into office and let her prove that women have a part in this. Trump wants a plan where they send the women back to like 19, 1870. 
that says in the Project 2025, no woman shall occupy a position of power at any company or corporation. They want you pregnant, barefoot, breeding children because they're afraid of the black men too, and non-white people. You see, abortions are predominantly had by white women. 72% because some guy got her pregnant and left. I mean, it's not, it's not rocket science. It's not hard math. And you know what I'm talking about, all of you guys. You've all known what I'm talking about. But you're too afraid to have a vasectomy. They might, they might cut on my, my precious dung along. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. But it saves a lot of women a lot of pain. You know? Irresponsible, spoiled brats. And it's time that the women stand up be the brick wall. They're, the, they're nowadays they're the ones who go to work all the time and raise the kids. Give them some respect, because most dads, everyone I know except one, just never showed up. They'd say they're showing up on Saturday, wouldn't show up. I have no faith in men, period. If you want something done like your sewer, call them. They love to wallow in the poop. That's all I got to say about this. Vote for Kamala Harris in 2024 and you won't regret it. I'm telling you from experience. My mother raised me by herself with no help. She couldn't even get a credit card without a man to sign with her, a husband. That was just in 1970, 1980. And Trump wants to take that away with Project 2025. You just don't realize the crap that's in that and it's, it's, it's all Christian stuff. Trump is, I remember Trump saying on a David Letterman interview, when he, he said, are you going to run for president? You should run for president someday. Just as a joke, he said, if I do, Trump said, if I do run for president, it'll be as a Republican because those people will believe anything you tell them if you tell them enough. They believe the religion stuff about life after death. They'll believe anything. Right there. And I dare you to find the video. I used to, I've seen it a bunch. He probably is paid to have it taken down now. But he's the most unchristian idiot I've ever seen. But he uses that to get what he wants. And the thing about Christianity is, it tells you, don't question. Well, duh, who do you think runs Christianity? Satan was cast out of heaven to rule earth. Bingo. Why wouldn't he take over religion? You know? That's all I got to say.